Alan Joe, who's an independent local cartoonist here living here in Berkeley. And we're going to be, uh, she, she will be drawing in the final panel of our um, six panel uh, page of local cartoonist work. And so let's get started. Okay. School now? Uh, right? Yeah, I'm a third year student. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. what, what are you majoring in? Um, I'm a major in German and women's studies. Ah, so. and so you speak German? Yes, I do. How do you say I love comics in German? Ich liebe comic books. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and um, you also speak Korean? Your, yes. Your family's from Korea? Yeah, my parents are Korean. How do you speak? How do, how do you say uh, I love comics in Korean? Nan mana tethers haranghe. <laughs> so, do you find yourself having um, um, uh, Asian influences as well as American influences in your comic book work? Um, yeah, like I grew up reading a lot of Korean comic books, and I used to read a lot of Japanese comic books, like in junior high. So, like my characters all sort of look like manga characters, mm -hmm. um, but like the writing style and the way the stories go, plot, whatever, all that is influenced by American comics because. Comics that I read when I was little, they weren't really that good, so it was sort of like, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, is, um, there seems to be a big scene here, especially in the East Bay, of Asian American cartoonists. Yeah. Has that been inspiring to you? or? Oh yeah, it's, um, it's awesome because there are so many Asian American artists here, or like around here, and make, they're all making comics and stuff, but they're not necessarily making comics up specifically like for an Asian American audience, or like about Asian American issues. I mean, they can be, but then they also they just draw comics about whatever they want, and they're like, and their their comics are like accepted as comics, not necessarily as oh that Asian American artist he's great because he's Asian American. It's it's not like that. So is is the community pretty? Um, is this community pretty diverse as well? I mean, you, you have like Pan Asian. And oh yeah, it's multiple generations. And yeah, there's I mean, the people who were born here or like. Their grandparents were born here or whatever, or people who just moved here from Asia or whatever. Um, and it's like, you know, Vietnamese people, Korean people, Chinese, Japanese, everything. <laughs> Excellent. So do you see yourself staying in, in the East Bay after you graduate and continuing to do comic books? Yeah. Uh, ideally, I'd like to just live in Oakland and draw comics forever and never go back to school after I graduate, but <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Yeah, kind of hard to make a living doing comic books yeah, sometimes. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well. Tell me the best guitar. Oh, um, so, so you are, are you in a band as well? Oh yeah, I play cello for a band called Scrabble, and we play shows. <laughs> and yeah, they're they're based they're actually based in San Francisco, and it's like kind of like twee indie rock mm -hmm. sort of stuff. Excellent. Yeah. And, and have you been playing the cello for a long time? Or? Uh, I've been playing cello for like 10 years. Mm. It's like, you know, one of those <clears throat> Asian American kids whose parents forced her to like play something. So. so you never played this instrument? Oh no, I actually don't know how to play the guitar, but I have one. E even a, even a... I can play this one. <laughs> <laughs> a cardboard guitar. Yeah, it's very useful. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I guess we'll get started, and uh, you can uh, draw in this final panel, and I'm um, looking forward to it. So, Great. Excellent. Can't wait to get started. Okay. <laughs> Run, baby, pussy. 
This is the San Francisco Cartoon Art Museum on Mission Street between 2nd and 3rd Street, where we'll be donating our page of original comic book art. Let's go inside. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so here I am with uh, Andrew Farrago, who is the gallery manager here at the San Francisco Cartoon Art Museum. Um, hello. <laughs> hello, Justin. How long have you been working here? Uh, I've been working here for over two and a half years. Excellent. And volu I volunteered for a year before that, so I, I know my Cartoon Art Museum. Excellent. Oh, well, we, and forward. well, we want to we want to give you this uh, page of original comic book art, all done by local Bay Area cartoonists. Each panel is done by a different person. That's my panel. That's uh, Tony Talbert. This is um, uh, Fredo, this is Xiao Chin, and this is Jesse Reckla, and this is Helen Zhou. So I think you know all of the people's work yes, here. Yes. Um, so here you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, I wanted to also ask, you know, does the Cartoon, Cartoon Art Museum, does it um, get engaged with local Bay Area cartoonists? Or? Uh, yes, yes. Actually, one of the, uh, we do a lot of things for local artists, but one of the things we do is this area called the Small Press Spotlight, and it's where we showcase up-and-coming, uh, hot, new, talented Bay Area artists, self-publishers, and people who are Excellent. working with small publishers. And you know what? You know, this is a. I think you got the stuff. So, you know, if you'd like, if uh, you know, if you can fit it into your schedule, I want to sign you up. Fantastic! I think I can whip one up. Okay. Come down to the woman. Get to a man, toss a man. 